Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason and welcome to this Zoppy AliExpress tutorial. Zoppy is an app that will allow you to import products from AliExpress onto your Shopify store. To use Zoppy, you'll first need to go onto your Shopify admin page, then go over to the left hand menu option and from there you're going to tap on add apps. After selecting add apps, you're going to scroll down and you're going to select Shopify App Store. After selecting Shopify App Store, you'll be redirected to a new page. You're simply going to tap on the search bar at the top of the page and from there I want you to type in Zoppy and you will see the option Zoppy AliExpress Dropshipping. From here you can scroll down and you can read more about the app and you can see that they also offer a completely free plan that will allow you to import 10 products per month as you can see right here and you'll also have the ability to fulfill 20 orders per month. So let's scroll back up and we are going to tap on install. After selecting install you'll be redirected to a new window as you can see right here to complete installation. Then from here I want you to tap on install again and after tapping on install once more you will be redirected to the Zoppy dashboard. In the meantime what you could do for me is go onto AliExpress so you are going to go onto a new tab and on AliExpress you are going to find the product or products that you would like to add. So let's say for example I would like to sell a Bluetooth wireless keyboard this one right here so you can see right there all you'll need to do is find the page after you have found the page you are going to go back into Shopify once here you can see I'm on the Zoppy dashboard so I'm going to simply scroll down you want to scroll down real quick and some of the time you will realize that you only see the paid section what I would recommend you do is you minimize the page or you cut down on the zoom so you are going to go over to the top right hand corner tap on the three dots then from there for example I will cut down the zoom to 75% or better yet 67% as you can see right here. Then I am going to scroll down and you are going to see the free plan right here which is what we want to use. So you are going to tap right here. After tapping there we are going to tap on choose this plan. Once you have tapped and choose this plan, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can simply tap on next. Then you could tap on the X to close out. Now to add your first product, as you can see right here, it has now been added. All you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on find product. After doing that, you can go back to the top and you're going to increase the zoom once more. So let me do that real quick and from here all you'll need to do now is simply paste the product URL. So we are going to go back into the tab that we had found the product in. We are going to copy the product URL and we are going to paste the product URL right here. So let's do that real quick and as you can see you can also do this for Timu products. So you'll paste the product URL right there. Then you'll simply give it a few seconds and you can see the product right here and all you have to do now is tap on add to import list and you can see how quickly it has been imported. It is that easy. Then you're going to go over to the left hand menu option once more and you're going to tap on product center. After tapping on product center you can see the product right here and all you'll need to do you'll tap right there to select the product. Then from there you are going to tap on push all products or if you would like to bulk edit after selecting a lot of products you could do that. So we are going to tap on push all products and you can see right there and we can tap on push as unpublished product and you can see the information right here. So this feature is only for.
Once here, all you'll need to do is hover over the icon that says push to store. Then you're going to tap on push to store once more. And here you can see right here that it is being processed. And once it has been added, you can go over to the top left hand corner and tap on products. And from there, you'll see that the product has been added. For example, if I were to go over to the top left hand corner and tap on products right now, you can see right here that the product has now been added to my store. So if I were to tap on preview, you can see it right there. Now, all you'll need to do is go back into Zappi. So let's do that real quick. We're going to tap on apps, then select Zappi AliExpress drop. Once on the dashboard once more, you can see again, you can go over to the left hand menu option, tap on store analytics. And from there, you'll be able to view your sales and so on. And as I stated earlier, you can process up to 20 fulfillment using this platform. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.